The Perkins 6.354 engine, a real gem when it comes to diesel engines with a nostalgic flavor. If you are still here, it is because you are passionate about the world of heavy duty trucks, therefore. I'm sure you've heard of this iconic engine or maybe you've had it under the hood at some point. It's time to meet this well-respected engine that remained in Perkins catalogs for more than 30 years. Can you imagine how good it must have been? With you, the multifaceted Perkins 6.354. The Perkins 6.354 engine has been a vital part of the road for decades, I assure you. Since the 1960s, when trucks were roaring down the roads, this engine was already making its way to fame. It was like a rock star in the world of diesel engines. Everyone wanted to have it in their trucks, but what makes this engine so special? First of all, it's an all-rounder. Not only did you find it in cargo trucks, but it was also in construction machinery, generators, industrial equipment, marine equipment, and agricultural equipment. He was like the Superman of engines, always ready to face any challenge that came his way. Wait a minute, comrade. Let's stop the truck. Before I continue, let me clarify the most important thing, the name. And that is that for what is to come, we must know the true meaning behind those numbers. Look, the six indicates the number of cylinders and the 354 represents the total displacement in cubic inches. That point clarified. With its 5.7 liters and rugged construction, designers made sure it could withstand the rigors of life on the road. It had solid cylinder blocks, reinforced pistons, and an efficient cooling system, among other features that make it as tough as nails. And it had to be as this engine was the heart that drove Perkins' worldwide growth in the 1960s and 1970s. So much so that truckers relied on this engine as if it were an old friend. They knew they could depend on it, even in the toughest conditions. And although some colleagues affectionately nicknamed it Burrito, the rugged engine was not afraid to carry a heavy load uphill. Since its birth as a development for the late 1950s, the engine already knew what it was destined for and in 1961 confirmed it by being the first Perkins inline six-cylinder engine with direct fuel injection, being a pillar in the Perkins production line. So much so that in 1962, this heart was improved by increasing its power reaching 120 horses. At 2,800 revolutions and for marine applications, it maintained 150 horsepower by the end of the 1970s, there was a major redesign of the cylinder block and head, resulting in the introduction of the 6.3544 and the 6.3544 engines, which replaced the previous model. Comrade, as you may have noticed, in this new model, they added a 4 at the end of the nomenclature. This digit indicates that the engine belongs to the DRT 4 series, which means that it is a more advanced or improved model. With the arrival of these new engines, production was no longer limited to the United Kingdom. It was also carried out in Mexico, Argentina, Peru, and Brazil, South Africa, Turkey, and the United States. Unfortunately, all good things come to an end. With the advent of the new 1000 series, the Perkins 6.354 lost steam, and by 1996, it rolled off the production line after having beaten more than a million times as a worldwide engine sales representation, leaving Caterpillar. The bar was set very high, since in 1,998 Perkins was acquired by Caterpillar, the world's largest manufacturer of construction equipment. In short, the Perkins 6.354 engine is a legend in the truckload world. It was a reliable engine and versatile that has made its mark in the industry. With its reputation for reliability and its ability to overcome the toughest challenges, this engine has won the hearts of truck drivers around the world. My comrade, if you found this video valuable, like and share it. Please subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment. As you well know, I am your friend Misael Osnaya and you are in kilometers traveled. Remember that in this, your space, we are curious and fascinated by exploring different topics.
This diversity can sometimes lead us to be experts in everything and nothing at the same time. So don't forget, the real specialist is you. You are the one with the final say, the expertise and in-depth knowledge in your areas of interest. So while we are here to provide you with information, we always encourage your active participation and unique perspective.